You're now listening to All Hog Sports. Covering all Arkansas Razorback sports, such as football, basketball, baseball, and much more. Now, here's your host for today's show, Sam Stimson. Now tonight, the must bus is taking off. Arkansas basketball is back, baby. Tuesday, November 9th at 7 p.m. on SEC Network Plus or ESPN Plus at Bud Walton Arena to a sold-out crowd for every game this season. It's awesome to see that. And we even sold the arena out before Halloween. Um, the game is against Mercer at home. Now, Arkansas is ranked 16th in the AP poll and 15 on Ken Palm. It's a lot of Ken Palm stuff for basketball because their stats are really good. And also, Ken Palm um, ranks all 360, 357 D1 teams. So we can really get an adjustable for how good a team is. And the AP poll is like only 15 teams. So I really love um, their computer metrics. And then Arkansas picked third in the SEC. Now for basketball as a whole, the key guards for Arkansas this season will be J.D. Note is one of them. J.D. Note, um, sixth man of the year last year, averaged 12.8 points per game, the steal leader as well. The late end of the season, he was really hustling and playing on his defense, but you could tell that there were certain situations where you know he didn't really have the bulk and strength that he wanted, so he bulked up in the offseason, um, you know, a really good offensive and defensive player. And, you know, a lot of people have him repeating a sixth man of the year just because of how deep this Arkansas team is. But I wouldn't be shocked if he started at the two spot or even the one spot in certain situations. The thing is, this Arkansas team is so deep that there's really not, like, one starting lineup right now. There's really not one rotation now. There's, I think, nine or ten guys who are going to compete for the eight spots that Eric Musselman will likely use. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works in the non-conference and ultimately before the first test of the season against Kansas State. Now another guard is Stanley Amude. 21.6 point per games last year. This thing is South Dakota State. Um, really talented offensive player, can shoot the three. Devo Davis last year, second on the team in assists, running some point guard. Um, if he can tighten his handles this year a little bit, I think he's NBA bound. You know, he's also been able to shoot the three ball. I do expect him to have a bigger role with this season's team. Uh, Chris Likes, transfer from Miami. Last year he got hurt, but the year before that he averaged 14.5 points per game and around like two assists. Um, you know, he got hurt last year, which really sucks, but I wouldn't be shocked if Arkansas used like a Curry type offense with Golden State Warriors where you have Likes who can run some point guard, but he's kind of playing at that two spot. Likes is a really talented offensive player of the year, and I feel like him and JD Note play a lot similar, you know, offensive. Um, base guys. Chris Likes is 5'7", if you didn't know that. But I feel like one of them will come off the bench, and whichever one does for the more games is sixth man of the year contender. Now, Jackson Robinson, transfer from Texas A&M, has actually played really good in preseason and exhibitions. Um, he's a really good three ball that he's been landing, which will always work its way in the rotation if the shooter's hot. Kalen Robinson, an electric point guard who was out Last season with a foot injury, but his ability to spread the ball around at Oak Hill Academy was very present his senior year. And then lastly, you've got Audis Tony, who will compete for time. Um, solid player for Pitt. I think he's our best guard rebounder. I wouldn't be shocked if he played at the four spot more than Amude did. Um, you know, there's really going to be a lot of times where he's going to be playing 35 plus minutes because of how Arkansas rebounds with him in the game, as we've seen in the exhibition game so far. Forwards. Kamani Johnson, the sit-out transfer from ULR, um, you know, really lots of uh, effort and talent. And same can be said for Trey Wade. They're both 6'7", uh, 6'6", six, six, six top guys. Trey Wade, 6'6", six, six, 220. He literally could play tight end. Like, there's NFL scouts at Arkansas's basketball practice for Trey Wade because that's how just the style he plays. Both of these guys are just what I call dogs on the board. You know, they're giving it its effort. And then you've got Connor Vanover returning as well, who's, who's bulked up some. Now, Jalen Williams, he emerged late last season. I do expect him to play the starting five. And if his shooting's on point, I really don't think there's many best, better centers in the NCAA or SEC. My projected rotation for this team. Um, Number one, at point guard, I have Devo Davis starting it off at the beginning of the season. I think he wins over this role. Um, It's kind of a point guard by committee by Note, Likes, and Davis. But I think we try Davis first. Um, JD second. I think JD... Um, has earned that spot as six man of the player last year. And then you've got Ardis Tony at three, Amuda at four. Both of those guys can be kind of swapped between three and four. Um, the five spot center, Jalen Williams, six, Chris Likes, seven, Kalen Robinson, 
eight, uh, Trey Wade, Jackson Robinson, Kamani, or Vanover. I just went with Wade because uh, he's a forward, and you know we want to have forward set in the rotation. Kamani could also be playing up there. This Arkansas team, though, is really deep. I wouldn't be shocked if Musselman went, you know, eight, nine, ten deep early on, and then as he found his guys, he went to small rotation. I feel like I said that a lot last year, and then certain guys, you know, started uh, not matching the offensive production that they've had all season, defensive production in the same way. So we'll kind of fizzle out and get a test for this team and all the transfers by midseason. Now previewing the Hogs' opponent, Mercer. Mercer was second in the South Conference um, last year in the Salcon. They were picked um, to finish number four in the conference. Uh, they got one first place vote. Last year, they finished ninth in conference play in terms of standings, but they made a run and then fell in the win in the, um, the tournament championship. So that's why they are second in that. Their top returner is Nefatali Alvarez with 13.3 points per game and 4.2 assists per game. This is a guy that Arkansas will look to limit on the offensive side a ton, especially with him being the top point guard. Expect Devo Davis and Note to line up across from Alvarez a lot. Um, this team lost a lot of their good players like like Cummings, and that's why they're really not as good of a defensive team as their offense is around 150. Defense probably like 200 in D1 basketball. Arkansas should have no problem scoring 80-plus. If we hit that 80 mark, I feel like we're going to win a lot of games this season, and I do expect Arkansas to get that pretty early on. Now, the spread for this game, as suggested, is Arkansas minus 19. Totally makes sense. Over-under for the game is 150 and a half, and then the over-under for Arkansas is 84 and a half. Those numbers sound about right to me. It's time for Sam's Prediction. Sam's Prediction. I got the Hogs winning this one pretty easily, 88 to 69. Um, I think they settle in late. You know, we might get off to jumpy start with all the transfers. I think Adis Tony, best rebounder on this team out of the guards, plays 35 plus. I also like Lakes to start off the bench and then earn the starting point for the next game against Gardner Webb. I also like Devo to stay at the point guard spot, and then I also expect Jackson Robinson to snipe some off the bench. Um, I don't know if he's going to get looks early in the game, but I do expect him to do his thing. Now, tomorrow, I have the preview out for LSU for football. And then Friday, I'll be recapping this game I just previewed and then previewing the next game for the Hogs. But y'all know the deal. As always, we'll pig suey on the Moss Bus. That's all for today's episode of All Hog Sports with Sam Stimson. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode covering all Arkansas Razorback sports. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on social media, too. On Twitter and Instagram at All Hog Sports Pod. Like on Facebook at All Hog Sports and Arkansas Razorbacks Podcast. And on YouTube at that same name. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Go Hogs!